example. Now I'm going to give you two examples. One is uh, the childhood, that young age, how, how they thought, what made them to imagine creative. Two story I'm going to tell you. When Albert Einstein was five years old, five years boy, his father showed him a pocket campus. Einstein realized that there must be something in the space previously thought to be empty that was moving the needle, later stated this experience made a deep and lasting impression. The, you know, in campus if you see, the needle moves. Why it moves? Oh, he was a five-year boy. So that created in his mind curiosity. As he grew, Einstein built models and mechanical devices for fun and began to show a talent for mathematics. In 1889, family friend Max Talmud, a medical student, introduced a 10-year-old Einstein to a key science, key, key science mathematics textbook. It's called Euclid's Elements Einstein, Elements, Euclid's Elements. Einstein called it Holy Little Geometry. This, uh, this geometry book, small book he got when he was a 10-year boy, he calls it Holy Book. Einstein began to understand deductive reasoning and by the age of 12 he had learned uh, Euclidean ge geometry. Soon after he began to investigate calculus. His father intended for him to pursue electrical engineering, but Einstein clashed with the authorities, resented the second regime. He later wrote that spirit of learning and creative thought were lost in the strict memory-oriented learning. So he became the new person because of the two small books uh, they change the life. Now, when everybody consider sea travel as an experience of voyage, when Sir C. V. Raman was traveling from UK uh, to Calcutta, to London to Calcutta, he saw uh, the sea was blue and the sky was blue in the horizon when the sun was shining in the evening. He asked why and he got a Nobel Prize. Okay. That means the, he was pondering why the horizon where the sky and sea meet looks blue. His research resulted in the phenomena of inelastic scattering of photon in the light. For this discovery, C.V. Raman was awarded Nobel Prize.